Yeah, man, this your boy Take a Pawn. We right now chilling in the rack, man. Y'all watching The Humble Soul. Evil, vindictive. They come from them type of situations, you know what I'm saying? So that's what they feed off into, or that's what they do when they in school. You know what I'm saying? You come to school, these little kids be in there stealing, writing bad words in the notebooks and shit. Like, no, my son, he, I, 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 I keep him, I try to keep him, um, what's the, I want to keep him <laughs> clean. You know what I'm saying? I want my son, I don't want him to be caught up in none of this shit. So I just, you know, I pay that price. No, for sure, for sure, for sure, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he said they kill us and they steal it. They write bad stuff. Bro, you know the kids be bad as hell, man. You be yeah. like, damn, why you so, why you act like that? You look like, it ain't even like cute bad. It be just like, like, come, bad, on, like come on, bro. Like, where, where the parents? Where yeah, the yeah, like, where the, yeah, where the mama yeah, daddy yeah. at, bro? bro I be you running into so many kids nowadays. I'm like, it ain't the same how it used to be, bro. Yeah, bro. Yeah, it's the respect just, level and all of that, dog. It's, it's just not. And then with my son, bro, like, I... I make posts about this shit all the time. Like, it be hurting me even seeing him get older because I know at a certain point in time, I'm not going to be able to create this force field for him where he live in this world that I done created. He going to go in the real world yeah. where I'm not going to be able to be like, well, I could just move him or move him out out of town or move him to this night nice school. No, he going to have to go through real shit and he going to have to go through the real world. So I, as far as right now where I can dictate the shit that I can dictate, I just try to keep him, um, keep him safe and clean. You know what I'm saying. Yeah, man, I do want to ask you this too. So, <clears throat> I've run across a couple people who they'll be like, "Man, my father was in the streets, so that mm -hmm. influenced me to be in the streets." Yeah. Although you're saying that you don't have your son around the same environment that you came up in, if he chose to take that path and, and say join BD, you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. Black Disciples. Like, would you still embrace him the same? Or would you court, push him away from that? Like, how would you feel? Bro? I'm going to love my son and accept him for whatever cons whatever he decides to do because I'm not a hypocrite. Like, I, I'm i not one of them people who going to, like, judge because I, I did it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I never. And I did it to the fullest extent. So, I'm going to be, I'm like I said, I try to keep him away from the life as long as possible. Like, my daddy, he tried to do it to me. But it got to a point where... He had to see that I was already in. You Your know dad saying? was BD too? No, my daddy was GD. My daddy was GD, but my daddy was in the feds when I was going through what I was I going through. I remember you saying that, yeah, yeah. So yeah, he, yeah. he didn't have a chance to really, like, steer me away from this shit on his own. But, like, with me, I'm going to try to steer my son away. But once I get a glimpse that it's like, because I know when it's too late. I know when the streets got you. I know when you can't come back or be innocent anymore. So when it, if it's to that point... I'm going to help him be the best street nigga he can be. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Because I ain't going to fight with you, bro. You already out here. Me fighting with you ain't going to do nothing. but push you away. Now I'm somewhere. I can't see my son. He won't confide in me. He won't come to me. He won't talk to me about none of the shit he going through because he think I'm going to judge him or I'm going to try to, mm. you know, tell him something he don't want to hear. Yeah. So not saying like I'm going to condone it, but like if it's to a point where I see, like my mama, I had to do this to my mama. Like I went to jail for a pipe when I was 14, 13 years old. Like, mm. at that point, you gotta look in the mirror as a parent and be like, look, if mm. he toting guns, he obviously already in too oh, deep. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, there's yeah. nothing I can really be like, ah, oh, son, stay away, don't do this, don't do that. He already in it. He had doing, like, I, I just gotta, as a mom, be like, hey, son, such so, so, like, it got to a point where my mama used to be like, it turned to her trying to shield me from it, to her asking me every day when she seen me, you got your gun with you? I used to be like, yeah, she all right. What, what, she, what, what she used to call it? You said your she son? She used to call my son. Yeah, yeah, she used to be yeah, like, yeah, you, yeah, you got your son with you. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. It's like, because at this point, she got to be realistic. Like, my mm -hmm. son in it. I got to help him be, move righteous if this is how he coming. So, yeah. with my son, like, I just probably be on some shit. Like, all right, nigga. You really want to, now I'm going to give you street shit 101. Since this is what you got going on, I'm about to teach you everything, man. Yeah. From show you how real this shit can be. I'm gonna tell my son early, like, you know, I named him after the nigga that's dead. So yeah. he gonna learn, like, this is what's gonna happen, son. Like, your uncle's supposed to be here right now, but he not, he dead, nigga. So you you gonna he gonna learn early what what this shit can be, what it can what it can do. Hey, how are we doing?
Um, so you mentioned, bro, um, that your father is a GD. Mm -hmm. How did you become a BD? And did that create like any type of rift or conflict? Like, is, is is your is your family like mixed? Is it GDs and BDs or? Um, it's a lot more BDs in my family since I came and became BD because you know I kind of set the trend. Even though I do got a cousin ABE, he was BD. And you know his hood where he grew up in the hundreds, they was BD. So he had like he like three, two years older than me. So he was already BD. You know I'm saying from his hood, but he wasn't as flamboyant as me. Like you know the BDs from my area, bro. We just bleed that shit. Like every five seconds, it's on BD on King. Like you gonna know a BD from my end, bro. It's not you're not gonna leave the interview not knowing what he is. I promise you, he gonna merch it on all his dead homies eighty times. Like, we just flamboyantly, rambunctiously BD, like, you know what I'm saying? So, when when I became BD, I was putting it in my family face, you know what I'm saying? And then, you know, we was in two with GD, so I was GDK as hell. I used to be making them mad. Like, my daddy, he was in the feds, so it's like, I, I, never, I could never really talk to him directly about this shit. I wouldn't do it with my father anyway, on some funny shit. I do it on some funny shit. Like, I do it on some funny shit now, you feel me? But I never disrespect my dad like that, but... Um, it didn't create no issues though. You say with the pops, uh, nah, it, it created issues not with my pops, but like with with people who wanted me to be GD in my family. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, cause you gotta understand, in my area, and in, in, in my era, we creating a lot of GDK type of you know um, content. Uh, content. You know what I'm saying? And GDs not uh, citywide hearing that shit, and they just ain't like, oh, he talking to his ops, like. No, nah, they the, they yeah, they felt yeah, like we yeah, was yeah. saying fuck all you niggas. You know what I'm saying? So it was a lot of people in my family who really ain't listen to Keith, who really ain't listen to Dirk, Reese, Fredo. None of them niggas like ain't like none they was putting out. Ain't fuck with none they had going on because they used to feel like y'all be dissing the GDs too much. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So when they found out like I was a BD and they found out I was from where these niggas from who do all that, they like oh hell no. Nah. Mm -hmm. And they thought it was to a point where they can like get me back. Or get well not back, but get me they right basically where they could get make me GD, but that shit was over with. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That shit was definitely over with. You know what I'm I had cousins and shit. I wasn't even going to a family reunion. We had family reunions every day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, back in the day. I wasn't even going to that shit because I ain't want to be around their ass too much on front of because they used to be trying to flip me and shit like that. For real. Yeah. Did you ever get the boxing with any of them? Yeah, yeah. For real, for real. Yeah, yeah, boy, my cousins, bro. Like, cause at one point in time, they really felt like shit. We was really on that, and I'm like me, bro. I'm not all that explaining myself. I'm gonna drop the rakes in my cousin's face. I'm, I swear to God, like I used to be on some shit like what? Tripping. Yeah, cause you know I'm a young turn nigga. Y'all don't be woofing at me, man. I'm phoning them. You woofing at me, and then I used to feel like some people used to be trying because my daddy was booked. Like you know what I'm saying? Like my some of my cousins, like my older cousins, that was like like seven, eight years older than me. Mm -hmm. They used to be trying, you know what I'm saying, like on some shit like this, yo, yo, we'll fuck your little ass up. I'ma blow one of y'all shit up. I used to be on some shit like that, cause I'm, I can't fight y'all, y'all, y'all 20s, I'm 15, y'all mad at me. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? Was you joking or was you serious? As far as like on some GDK shit or popping them? Yeah, popping them. I mean, if they'd have fucked me up, I was gonna pop them here, yeah. I wasn't finna let no grown man put their hands on me. I ain't never played that game. I ain't gonna lie, like, cousins and all, I respect you niggas, like, like, I've always been a nigga like, bro, I ain't never been GDK for my family. Like, mm -hmm. I ain't never, as much as I play with them, as much, I'm a family nigga, bro. Like, I, I, even back then, one of my cousins could have called me and said, one of my BD homies fucked them up or took something with them. And I would have, when it picked up folks, and we would have fucked my homie up. Like, I'm a family nigga, you know what I'm saying? So, even though for them GDK and I'm GDK, y'all, I expect at least my family to know, like, I he ain't talking to us. He love us, but they used to be taking that shit to the heart. Sometimes I used to be liking that. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna lie.